Hey guys, it's Tori from Modern Green Moments, and today I'm going to walk you through how to use this leopard football and be able to change the print of the leopard spots so that they match your team or your customer's team. So um, this is the finished product. I'm going to be using Silhouette Studio and Photoshop today. Um, so if you will go ahead and open your Silhouette Studio, and you can also do this in your Cricut Design space because I include the SVG of those spots. So I'm just going to pull in the football and you'll see it does not have the colored spots for the, with this file. Now I'm going to pull in the other file that is saved as an SVG. So I'm going to go ahead and select the colors that I want for my team. So that's the inside fill. Here's the line style fill color. So that's the color that I want, but you'll see it's on top of these leopard, on top of the football. I want it to go behind these spots. So I arrange behind. Now I'm going to move and adjust these so that these spots are in the right spot. It's kind of, um, there's some lead way, just make sure there's no white showing like there's some right there. So I'm just using my arrows to move the football over and to get it looking right. And there we go. Now I can select all of this and group it together and I'm ready to print. And then if I just want to change the color, I would ungroup this and repeat that process. Now make sure you grab the leopard print. You'll see right now I'm actually grabbing the football and you'll notice that whenever I make it change to red. So I didn't have the right thing grabbed. So I really move that out of the way, make sure I have those spots selected this time. Now I can change that color. And then I'll put that back on top. And then I'm good to go. <clears throat> okay, so now we're gonna try this in Photoshop. And I'm just gonna drag and drop right here. So here's my file again and I'm going, I meant to drag and drop that file in here. There we go. Now I'm going to rearrange those spots so that they're behind. So I don't want this color. So what I'm going to do is create a new layer on top and then I'm going to select the color that I want, that I want these spots to be it for the team that I'm going to print for. So I've got this dark purple, I'm going to then select my paint fill, I'm going to fill that, and that's still not what I want obviously, so I right click and I go down to create clipping mask and you'll see it changes that color of those spots. And now I'm just going to add a white background so you can see it. And there we go. So if I want to change this color, I can just select whatever color that I want, and there's my red now. So super easy, use that clipping mask tool and just change that color. And there you have it. So that's it guys, let me know if y'all have any questions and check out my website and Facebook group.